New at 6, delayed Dreamliners. That's the situation right now on Boeing's Charleston assembly line after the FAA clamped down on the country's largest aerospace manufacturer. Now, inspectors are stepping in to certify the new jets that are rolling off the assembly line in South Carolina. Yeah, and Chief Transportation Correspondent Hawker Vanguard here to be able to explain all this to us. So kind of what's the hold up with the FAA? Two words here. Airworthiness certificate. It's one of these guys. It's a standard piece of paper you find in every aircraft in the United States. It's kind of like our inspection certificates for mm -hmm. our cars in North Carolina or just uh, your registration. It says everything is in good working order for you to drive the car or have that plane fly. But right now we have an issue because Boeing was previously able to self certify their aircraft and that means their engineers could sign off on that airworthiness certificate. It would just be like you or I in uh, that kind of registration example there checking off our uh, vehicle was safe to drive. It was up to DMV standards. But here's the problem. Federal in, uh, inspectors decided to pull that privilege from Boeing after multiple manufacturing defects were caught. Safety bulletins had to be issued and aircraft had to be reinspected as a result. So now the FAA inspectors have to give their sign off on these new aircraft. And of course, that's slowing everything down because these 787s uh, aren't being delivered at the rate that they were promised. Air Airlines like American Airlines are having to augment their flying schedule uh, going into these very busy spring and summer months. So as of right now, it looks like we're going to have some uh, delays in rolling out flights from Dallas to Santiago, Chile, uh, Los Angeles down to Sydney, which is unfortunate because uh, Australia just reopened their borders. And then you also have that new flight from Seattle over to London Heathrow. Yeah, these long haul these long haul flights are what what's affected yeah. here so much. You know, I remember living in Seattle years ago, and they were always complaining about the people in South Carolina that were making the planes. <laughs> yeah. They have to go back up to Everett to kind of fix whatever they had down there in Charleston. But Char Charlotte's a hub for like U.S. Airways here. Do we fly a lot of that? Is this going to affect a lot of how with the aircraft that flies in and out of here? Yeah, with U.S. Airways, it was a hub that had so many different types of aircraft. We had E-190, 757, 767s, and with COVID, when everything shut down, American Airlines got a lot of those planes consolidated, retired. Now we rely on 777s, but the issue now is they're having to take those 777s and use them in other places. Mm -hmm. So that's why we're seeing these routes be canceled. Wow. All right, Cocker Vanguard, our chief transportation correspondent. Thanks for that information.